Hey everybody, Don Mammoser here again. In today's video, I'm going to take you to Ecuador and we're going to chase after small birds, mostly hummingbirds, but a lot of other types of songbirds as well. And with me, I took a Canon 5D Mark IV and I paired it with a Tamron 150 to 600 f5.6 to 6.3 g2 lens and it's a super huge challenge to try to capture the action of these small little birds that move very quickly so let's see how we did with this lens and camera combination so ecuador straddles the equator on south america's west coast it is one of 17 mega diverse countries what that means is that it has a huge variety of animal species compared to most other places. Ecuador can claim 1,651 confirmed species of bird, and that includes an incredible 132 different varieties of hummingbirds. So I've traveled to Ecuador several times now, and as I said, I took with me my Canon 5D Mark IV and a Tamron 150-600 G2 lens. So as I said in the introduction, small, fast-moving birds are a huge challenge for any photographer and any camera gear. But my Tamron 150-6 and the Canon 5D Mark IV did very well. Of course, patience, perseverance, and being in the right place at the right time pay off when you're after those small birds. Hummingbirds are charismatic, they're tons of fun, and they're very quick moving. Now, many photographers like the stopped wing approach, and I do as well, up to a point. And then I also enjoy static or resting or sitting shots. And when you can approach very close, such as I got with this chestnut-breasted coronet, the detail you can capture is amazing. Also, hummingbirds in flight with a bit of a wing blur I like. And that hints at the speed and motion of these little balls of energy. And Ecuador has tons of other birds besides hummingbirds. And after photographing tiny hummers for a while, when you see something like an Inca jay or a crimson rump toucanet, I mean, these birds seem huge in comparison. So let's go in really close now and see how the Tamron lens did on this toucanet. Nice sharpness, as you can see. In some places where we photograph in Ecuador, we set up hummingbird feeders and natural flowers to attract the birds. And the Tamron lens with just one flash on the camera's hot shoe does a pretty good job in these situations. Other times, there is just a flower nearby where we're photographing, and we wait and see what comes along. This particular flower was a huge attractant to numerous birds. And even in the rainstorm that came one day, it provided decent photography for us. As I mentioned, I enjoy photographing both birds in flight and perch birds, and the Tamron 150 to 600 handled both very well every time I've been to Ecuador. Here's one of my favorite shots, two buff-tailed coronets clashing. And it happened to make the cover of Brown Trout's 2021 Hummingbird Calendar. Just to go over a little bit of my technique while I'm in Ecuador and I'm chasing those fast birds, I mostly rely on the autofocus of the Tamron G2 lens. But sometimes I touch up the focus manually for perched birds. Okay, hopefully you can see how much fun it would be to be in Ecuador and to be chasing after those hummingbirds and all the other birds and wildlife that they have there. It's a super diverse country and it's a blast going there. And I take small photo groups on a photo tour there and I'm going again this coming November. If you'd like to join us, you can click the link down here in the description that will take you right to the sign up page and you can join us and have a blast photographing all that wildlife in Ecuador. We hope to see you soon. 
Thanks for watching my video.